everybody, Fallen Rain here for another video of Girls X Battle 2, as always. <laughs> right, so <clears throat> this video is going to be about holy damage. Long story short. I originally had a crystal, uh, one of these types of crystals that I haven't actually spoken about yet. I need to cover this in the video. Um, but I originally had one of these crystals that you know when basically you click on exchange here you can uh, get different types of stats for it um, again i'll explain it in another video but anyway so one of the stats was a holy damage increase and i sat there and i kept thinking to myself i don't know what holy damage was and then i was thinking about the also the servant as well who is rupert here who I'm also a bit confused about because I was like, oh, he gives random allies holy damage. But I didn't understand what holy damage was, you know. Um, I was, when I was actually choosing my servant, um, I didn't actually think to even understand what Rupert was because in my head I was thinking, okay, well, holy damage is usually on angel girls. You know, like actually Angel here, for example, she gets like an increase in holy damage. So I thought, okay, I, I registered I registered in my brain that holy damage is something which is for girls um who are in the angel status. And I thought, well, I don't have any angel girls. I don't use the angel category or the demon category mainly because it's hard to get all the resources for them. So I thought, ah. Eh, What's the point, you know? But mm, to my surprise, um, I actually realized that holy damage is quite different. Um, it's not what you believe it to be. If anyone out there believes that it's just damage which is dealt through angels, I can understand because in your brain, logically, that would make sense because the only ones who have holy damage are angel girls mainly. So it becomes quite confusing. Okay, but let me let me reveal uh, a truth to you all, especially if you're new players and stuff like that. Holy damage is like uh, I don't know if you're playing any other kind of like RPG mobile games, but there's a game called um, Final Fantasy X. Um, what's it called again? X uh, X Exodus. I think it's Exodus or something like that. Final Fantasy Brave Exodus, something like that. So anyway, all I'm trying to say here, I'm not going to go off on a tangent, is that there's damage in that game which is which is classed as unmitigated. I think it's unmitigated, which basically means that it ignores defences, right? Now, there's a similar concept happening here with holy damage. They do not make this clear. This is something that the developers need to explain clearly in the text message of any holy damage which is there it is unmitigated jack damage okay now when i say that okay what i mean is this holy damage will in calculation okay after let's say let me bring up a girl for example yeah let's bring up someone like yeah like commonly yeah so with her phantom tide after the calculation of damage, I think I need to go into, I might need to do a video on damage as well actually, because damage is mad in this game, right? there's weird calculations going on. So, you've got your attack, yeah? Hers is 75,000 whatever right now, right? So that's the first thing. So that's the standard attack damage, okay? Now, when, it, when Phantom Tide comes in, there is a 272% multiplier on top of the attack, right? Boom. That's that damage there. All right. So that's calculated. So once that's calculated, that's the damage you do. Okay. Now I've sent that over to the opponent. Now let's say my opponent is Amazon. Okay. Amazon gets hit with that damage from Kong Ming. And then her little blue thing here, if you see the 1554, five, that's your armor. That's your defenses, okay? Now, 
there is a percentage decrease. I don't know how much it actually decreased. So that is just 1,500. Um, I might again need to ask the GM about that. I'm going to show you actually the GMs that I spoke with, uh, with them about because I needed to understand what this holy damage was. But anyway, so listen. So now armor, okay? Now I've, I've done the damage. I've sent that over. And like I said, let's say I'm playing Amazon. Now the armor will then take off a percentage of that damage, okay? I don't know how much it is yet, so I'll need to find that out fully. But it takes off, off a percentage of that damage, okay? Then that is the total amount of damage that I'm going to do from Kongming to Amazon, all right? Now, where holy damage comes in, okay? Holy damage, okay, sorry about that. Holy damage, hold on, let me bring it up here. Now, what holy damage will do is that that will take off a percentage of the attack, but it's not calculated by the defense. All right, so when I said that Kong Ming has done, has multi done our damage multiplier and she sent that damage over to Amazon, Amazon's defenses have taken off a percentage of that. When the holy that after all of that's done, then the holy damage will then actually calculate a separate amount of damage from the attack, but it won't be calculated with the defense. Okay, so this is what I mean about unmitigated. It is a damage increase which is not calculated by the defenses of the girls now. This is where it gets even more interesting. I'm gonna bring up the GM for you for this one, actually. Let me show you what the GM said. So, ah, uh, oh, some of it's kind of been taken off. Okay, I've got to be careful of that. Yeah, so it's still there, luckily. Anyway, so as you can see here, holy damage will not be affected by armor of the target, but will be affected by damage reduction. Okay, so, after, the, the, so the defense is from the girl will be calculated and that will be that will be obsolete for holy damage okay that will be obsolete but if you've got someone like again Amazon or Enmaya who does um, who do damage reductions or if you've got a gear which will do a damage reduction holy that will be that will be calculated in the final damage as well all right try not to i'm trying not to make this too confusing but a damage reduction skill or a damage reduction gear will be calculated and taken off of the holy damage but the base armor of girls will not be calculated in holy damage right so this is where holy damage is very interesting it is very very different um it's very very different you can see here i was you know asking about what it means and do is it only for angel girls they're telling me stuff as you can see here like that you know it's not specifically just for angel girls either because torin with a skin also gets an added five percent and i've seen um there's definitely some gear that also um, do uh, holy damage increases. So it's not exclusive either. So this is what makes it even more interesting for me, to be honest. Um, because of that, I decided, okay, my second servant that I'm going to start building up is going to be Rupert because he's going to give four allies 60% holy damage which is going to be quite a decent increase considering when you get to limit breaking levels or even 10 star 10 star you're doing crazy damage trust me so once you add in all of the 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 debuffing um the extra damage increases and then you get granted an extra per percent of holy damage to be not calculated by, like I said, a girl's defences, base defences, that's crazy.
to me that's just crazy man that is high damage and he's doing his own damage as well so he's doing his own standard damage and that's going to obviously be calculated in the normal way but then he gives 60 percent holy damage to four allies for two rounds plus stunning them so anyway I spoke about servers before, so I'm not going to go over that in this video. Um, but that's the thing. So holy damage is a very interesting calculation and it is completely different in the game. And I only discovered this like, you know, a few days ago, last week even. So I just wonder how many people know about this. Um, and I had to ask the GM. Even the GM's like, sorry for the confusion, you know what I mean? <laughs> because they're not making it clear what holy damage actually is. And I had to start doing some article research. One of my guild members mentioned it, you know what I mean? So, well, for that, I wouldn't even have known, you know? Um, so, yeah, they've got to make that clear, definitely. Um, and as you can see here, it says... Holy damage will not be affected by the armor of the target, which means it will ignore the armor completely. You see what I'm saying? Completely. That's just crazy, man. So, a good example of when holy damage will be really, really useful is a girl like Sonya, right? Because Sonya... Okay. Sonya is known for having high base armor. You see there, she has over 3,171 armor. She's the only one that has it in the game, but when you cast holy damage on her, that defense becomes completely obsolete, which is a bit of a piss take really, especially if you're using Sonya as a tank and then you drop someone like Rupert who will give her a hard time because he will cast holy damage on four of your allies and then those allies are then going to do a damage calculation which takes off well a, a percentage of that damage will not be affected by her armor which is what she is known for so that's mad that's actually mad to me um it makes holy damage um, quite useful. It does depend, of course, um, because I'm still trying to figure out what's best if you want pure attack or if you want extra holy damage because there are certain um, gears and crystals, I should say as well, sorry. There are crystals that I'm using, you know what I mean, like these dragon jades, and some of them I'm using just pure attack. Actually, quite a few of them are just using pure attack. So, uh, yeah. But I just noticed my battery's low, so I better close the video and everything uh, before it cuts off. So, like and subscribe, all of that good, good stuff. And thank you for listening. Um, I will see you in the next video.